since EDPR went public in 2008, 9 million jobs were lost in Europe. Multiple corruption scandals were uncovered. And famous environmental catastrophes ruined our coast and land. Do you think this is a sustainable environment? Should companies bear any responsibility for this? And here comes the big question. What does sustainability mean for a company? Sustainability consists in defining best practices and mitigating the risks that companies have to face to maintain their long-term competitiveness, focused on economic, social, and environmental performance. Starting with economic area, companies need to generate cash in order to pay salaries to their employees, invest in new projects, and for sure, return investors' investment. The economic area of the company can be compared with food, we need certain food to survive, but it is not the only thing that we do in our everyday life. Let's put EDPR as example. EDPR is the fourth largest company in wind energy generated worldwide. The growth was huge. EDPR was present in eight countries in 2008 and now is present in 12. Mexico is the new challenge. With the results generated in these countries, EDPR achieved an operational cash flow of 700 million euros, invested 627 million euros, and paid 35 million euros in dividends in 2013 to their shareholders. But what else should a company do? Companies are expected to ensure a promising future both to their employees and to their neighboring communities. In 2008, in EDPR, we were 630. Now we are 905, while the unemployment rate has increased 4% in Europe and EDPR continues to promote diversity. And today, 31% of the employees are women. We are aligned with the sector's average. This is something we can keep improving. Training continues to be an important area of our development. And there were 29,000 training hours during 2013, 33 hours per employee. And EDPR works with a zero accident policy mindset. We don't want accidents, so please don't relax as this is critical for our contractors and for us. We are committed to this policy through our code of ethics. But why EDPR needs a code of ethics? Because our success is based on the relationship of trust built with all stakeholders. Have it in mind when interacting with all of them. Talking about stakeholders, our communities are one of the most critical ones for us. That's why EDPR makes remarkable efforts on keeping a fluent relationship with them. In Spain, EDPR and Fundación EDP foster activities with the community. Last but not least, companies also have the responsibility of protecting the natural resources while they keep on developing their activity. Do you know that EDPR has more than 5,000 turbines around the world? The gigawatt hours generated with them during 2013 avoided tons of CO2 emissions, equivalent to removing 4 million cars off the road in a year. Although EDPR is a green company with a limited footprint, it is crucial to continue recycling in order to minimize our wind farm wastes. So, remember our company's long-term competitiveness and low-risk activities are supported by three pillars, economic, social, and environmental, all of them critical to maintain EDPR strong, sustainable, and growing. And the foundation of these pillars is the excellence in our daily work. We count on you and on your sustainable practices so EDPR will continue to be recognized as the leader in sustainability and move on to the next level. Keep being sustainable.